So, two comments. This is, I feel like, going to be a good game. This is Hudson. Also, How this game is we have a lead on fantastic about looking. To get started. Adler's in West Berlin. Oh, I don't know what happened. Uh, server disconnected? I didn't even connect. I was playing offline. Uh, resume. Confirm. Sorry about that. Don't know why it, um, glitched out. That was weird. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Wood soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. Now it's framey. Don't know why. It like glitched out and now it's kind of framey. I do hear there this game has a lot of crashes on the Series X and I'm playing on an uh Xbox One X. Uh first name classified. Uh So I guess we're playing as somebody Bell, and I guess I get to pick pick my name. So I'm just gonna go with my real name, Wyatt. That is my real name. Uh, I'm just gonna say B. Don't wanna, don't wanna give too much. Place of birth. Okay. In tone. I would say I'm more of a either three or four. I'm pretty pale, but I've, I've tanned a lot. Let's just go with three. Ginger, uh, I'm a male. Military background. Uh, after a saint with the Marine, Bell joined the CIA, serving briefly under James Hudson. Jason Hudson. Afterwards, Bell was assigned to Russell Adler Mac. Be SOG until unit in Vietnam. My six majority to join Russell Adler squad in 1967. Bell served, served with MI6, reaching the rank of senior squad leader. Operations involving classified EXKGB. While operating as a KGB agent, Bell became an asset for the CIA, eventually defecting to the United States. In the United States in 1965, Bell later became a full member of a Russell Adler's Mac V SOG team. Um, I kind of like classified. Uh, well, do I have to pick one? Uh, so paranoid, trust no one, tends to. Interpret the actions of others as hostile. Violent lone wolf, professional fearless. Fiber. All method. Un calm under pressure. Outstanding mental. Due to highly effective agent when focused. Wow. Uh, okay. So what? Uh, violent tendencies reliable, reliable to in execution though. Questionable in, in result. Exhibits a low to medium magnitude of Huntive Dissense? I don't know how to pronounce that. Prefers to act independently, oftentimes questions authority. Professional, highly regiment seems sees team members as mission assets only. Lacks empathy. Will disregard threats even in the face of imminent danger. Reliable. Always plans ahead, detectable to detected to following orders. Always, always expect words that over prepares for the negative outcome. I can't read. I don't know why I read in these games. Overly reactive prefers to escalate conflict through physical means. Survivor highly resourceful. Adapt, 
adaptable to any environment or situation. Calm under pressure. All right, I read that one. Uh, systematic in thought, in thought, approach, and execution. Dependable, but also predictable. Can become fixated on accomplishing the mission at all costs. He has, take, has a team first mentality, always less to lead the fight. Shoots first, thinks later, and wants to take the fight to the enemy. I don't probably fearless. Oh, and then I get to the second one. Uh Um Let's go with that. Confirm. Bell. Good. Stop framing me now. Berlin. Well, I guess it is the game render. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. He seems like a badass. Let's get started. Sims. Been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. Uh -oh. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources. Anything substantial. Kind of so looking far, around. MI6 has come up empty handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Burger Town. Burger Town's that old? Well, I guess it's supposed to be like Someone high Burger King slash wins. McDonald's. I didn't think I needed you then, but I did. Now I need you again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. Hmm. Use the evidence and board to select a mission. Okay. Uh, use the evidence board to select the next mission. Play previous previous missions or examine evidence when you see the icon. The evidence is available that can assist you in the next mission and more. Uh, your evidence. Fractured jaw. Uh. Uh, 8,000 miles from home, located north of Dang Nang, 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 Camp Hoskins was part of congratulation, 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 I know how to print, congrat, bleh, now me trying to say it, congratulations of the U U.S. military bases that supported the Army, Marines, Navy, and Air Force. Russell Adler's Mac V SOG team was briefly stationed there in the fall of 1967 and into the early winters of 1968. This photo was taken on the rare day without rain during the region's winter moon monsoon monsoon season. It was during this week at Da Nang, Da Nang, I don't know how to pronounce that, that Adler's team discovered evidence of Perseus, uh, Perseus's activity in Vietnam. Okay, so. I don't feel like reading all the. Uh, I think yes, I will. Finding their time, the studies and observation group, MacSov, MacVsog, began covert missions in Vietnam in 1964. In July in 1967, Russell Adler and a small team of MacVsog operatives were sent by a Central Intelligence Agency to Quang Nam Province in Central Vietnam, while training and often. Operating alongside with other battle t battaloons that moved in and out of the area over the months, Adler's group always had an ear to the ground, listening for any word or of Soviet activity. When a vo valuable rumor appeared, they would move on their own to investigate. It wasn't until Jan—I almost said July, 
January 1968 that the CIA finally confirmed the presence of Perseus. Knockout blow, the event in Da Nang during January 1968 revealed an embarrassing vulnerability in the fractured jaw plan. It was, was immediately scrapped before any additional damage could be done. Uh, keep one's weapon out of another's hands as the fortunes of U.S. military in Vietnam declined. Senior military officers, including General William Westmoreland, began to enact a top secret plan. The deployment of tactical, tactical nuclear weapons in Vietnam, Perseus leaned on, learned of this plan, codenamed Fractured Jaw, as well as the storage location of one of the first bombs sent to the country. That's a lot of writing. Lawrence Sim Survival Kit. Sometimes you need more than your wits. One morning in early J January 1968, MACV SOG operator Lawrence Sims left Da Nang Air Base with USAF Airman Durain Coop for a routine recon mission. After experiencing me mechanical difficulties, their chopper touched down in a jungle clearing 15 miles outside their base. Outside the base, awaiting for assistance, they were ambushed by <laughs> ambush or ambush. Ambushed by Bit Kong and forced to flee into the jungle. Cop was killed. Coop was killed in combat. Sims ammo exhausted took Coop's knife and circles a clearing perimeter. He managed to take out three soldiers by hand before reinforcements arrived and secured made the malfunctioning chopper. Sims never parted with the knife after that incident. It now hangs from the board as a good luck charm. So. Have I done these missions? Okay, so I think we did this mission, right? No, we're left to run. Okay. Uh. Um, a key Middle Eastern as asset for Perseus. A rash Kadivar was born moments after the Allied invasion of Iran. On August 25th, 1941, as Kedavar, Kedavar, near his 12th birthday, the Prime Minister of Iran was overthrowing the West sponsored coup. Kedavar's father, a supporter of Mohammed Mastig re regime, was imprisoned, tortured, and sun summarily executed. The, uh, the young Kedavar en entered his teen years with a powerful anti imperial anger. Later, he would begin to reluctantly associate with the with agents of the USSR, who also had interest in ousting the American-backed Gosh. Gavar showed himself capable of exploiting religious theology if it served his political purpose. It is known there where the relationship with per Perseus began. I want to ke keep saying Percy, but it's not. Or Pursue. Began Russell Adler and ended on the tarmac of Barzan Airfield. Uh, photo Pazum Gavedi. I they pronounce his name, but reading it, it's gonna be different for me. He was born in northwest Iran in 1946 inside the short lived USSR's puppet state of. I'm gonna try to pronounce it, but it's probably not gonna be right. Azerbaijan. As, as Azerbaijan, yeah, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go over that word if it comes or name if it comes up again. People's governments. He grew up in poverty, but showed exponential exponential promise as a student. At age 18, he left his family to attend the University of Tehran. Intent intent on becoming a doctor, he dropped out. Just testified. Hazem became increasingly attacked to the attracted to the political resistance movement in Iran. After encountering Arash Kedvar at a secret group meetup in Iran, Quasim entered the fold, becoming a key ally in Kedvar Kedvar's plan to undermine the government of the Shash. Kedvar's ignorance, or Javidi's ignorant. Aragon's love of luxury and carelessness left him vulnerable to CIA once act action once they chose to take it. 
Ugh. Why do they have to? <laughs> I'm sorry. I suck at reading. And then you throw names. I'm just like, I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, and it's just like even worse. After killing Arash Kadavar, Russell Adler's team discovered that Kadavar had been moving crates of black market 1911s out of Turkey to an unknown destination. A particular destroyed manifest acquired on the scene of the plane crash mentioned Woodpecker, which could be the code name of the recently or location. Uh, family Feud, bullet extracted from Star's Target. A Russell Ad as Russia Adler, Adler, Nick Woods, and Alex Mason watched from a hidden location, Ar Arash Kadavar decided to execute someone on the tarmac at Tabzar and Air Tabzone Airfield. It is possible the victim was unaffiliated third party, but the Central Intelligence Agency believes that he was more likely an internal dispute or sub of some kind. Based on the .45 bullet extracted from the victim's chest, Kedavar was using an M1911 from the illicit weapon shipment loaded on a nearby plane. I'm trying my best to say all these words right and also try not to be bad at reading, guys. You gotta understand that. <laughs> but if you've watched me for a while, you know I'm just bad at reading. And I feel like I've gotten better, but at the same time, I'm still bad at it. More than meets the eye. In Turkey, the Central Intelligence Agency sees several items from Arash Kadvir's person, including his eyeglasses. After a laboratory analyst, investigators discovered a narrow compartment embedded in, in the underside of the left lens frame. A curved hollow needle contains a small dose of pteridox toxin. A powerful neurotoxin was nestled inside the hidden compartment. Analysts speculate that Kadvar could have been carrying the toxin to in Either evade capture through a suicide or just use an additional close quarters weapon and otherwise disarm. Um, greasing the hands. The hands. Terman is the chief of policy in Amsterdam Centrum, the historic heart of Amsterdam, Netherlands in 1976. Russell Adler first met him at the late night poker game in Newmarket, where Adler not only took most of Tim Man. Timmerman's money, but also mental snapshot of all Timmerman's weaknesses. This in included, but not limited to, American dollars, fantasies about internal espionage, and internal fear of ex exotic foreigners. He was just a man to exploit with Adler, needed to remove the police pressure from the area around Pism Javardi's apartment. It would be clear path from the back of D Steer to Quism's country courtyard and a short window of time to go weapons free without fear of in intervention. I'm sorry guys, that was a lot. Life of the rich and infamous uh purchased his apartment in cash less than a year ago, which exactly no one within the Central Intelligence Agency believed was a clean transaction. Uh, had been partying with friends, family, and cohorts in a seemingly, seemingly endless New York celebration when Russell Adler and company decided to make a surprise appearance. Many of the men there would be practice um, what, me, melons, but for the most part, Adler expected it to be a simple affair. He wasn't wrong. Typical Woods, as Russell Adler prepared to leave Langley in late uh, January, he briefly discussed his plans with Lawrence Sims to resurrect the old CIA evidence board at the safe house of E9 in West Berlin, starting with intel from the recent complete mission in Amsterdam and t <sighs> tabs on. Frank Woods, who was listening nearby, walked up to Adler and placed a hand on his shoulder. Woods lifted up a matchbox from the bar in Amsterdam, Amsterdam and waved it in front of Adler's face, leaning forward and Adler with a serious face. Hey, look, he said, hey, a souvenir or for your fucking board. Who is Adler to disappoint? Oh, my God. <laughs> and then I got one one more. OK, there's no evidence besides these three. Thank God I'm done reading. The Central Intelligence Agency knows little of the figure has dubbed Perseus records of his action date back to the end of World War II. 
expecting the agency are documented up through the Vietnam War. After that, only silence. This photo is the only clear likeness in the agency's archive. Analysts estimate its date from the mid late 1950s. Uh, interestingly, interestingly, sometimes I feel like I just said that wrong. Like, interestingly, sometimes around the same period, the Evelis elusive Soviet operative began to interfere himself using Perseus moniker, perhaps as a point of pride, or was it a mocking nod to his pursuers? Letter from Emerson Black, Black Ops, the mission authorization telegram was sent to Russell Adler from Emerson Black, the deputy strategics within the CIA direct, direct, directed of operations. A photo of Tarbazon Airfield. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong because there's a Z and I want to pronounce a Z, but it's probably wrong. I recognize I'm saying these wrong and I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> uh, delivery for Perseus. After Russell Adler's com comf confrontation with Asher Kadavar, uh, analyst of Airfield revealed that Kadavar may have been moving weapons to Perseus. It is specula speculation, though, as a represent, represent, receipt, represent, and destination remain unclear. It was declared that Kadavar. Kadavar is somehow connected to Perseus, and Kadavar appeared to have knowledge of an independent attack of ambiguous nature. Okay. I can finally start this mission, guys. It's done. I can 